Is negative thinking sabotaging your manifestations? In today's video, you will learn how to stop negative thoughts from affecting your manifestations. 1. Show gratitude for the things you already have. The feeling of gratitude is one of the highest vibrations you can emit. Being thankful for your current state is cleansing to the mind and soul. It's easy to regret certain events from the past. Or feeling thankful for the future and forgetting the present moment. The past is in your mind. The future is in your mind. All we really have is right now, so why not appreciate it? It's important to remember that every day is a blessing. You control your own happiness, so raise your positive vibration by making the act of gratitude a daily habit. Here are some great ways for you to show gratitude even on the gloomiest of days. Write a list of everything you're thankful for today. It could be health, friends, family or simply the weather. Make a habit of complimenting your loved ones to show what you appreciate about them. Offer small acts of kindness to others to show gratitude for their presence in your life. Take time to observe and appreciate the beauty in nature. 2. Find the patterns. Observe your negative thoughts from a place of acceptance. Identifying patterns in your negative thinking will help you to understand the root cause behind these protective barriers. Remember, negative thoughts are usually adopted by the ego due to fear of failure. If you can find the patterns where the ego overrides the mindset, then you can be better prepared for future triggers. Next time you observe negative thoughts pop into your mind, ask yourself the following. Which thought triggered a negative response? How does this negative thought affect the way my body feels? What's this negative thought trying to protect me from? Is this defense mechanism helpful or is it inhibiting my personal growth? After a while, you'll begin to notice a pattern. You know that this protective barrier has been put in place for your own safety and you can now make a conscious decision on whether or not the fear is rational. 3. Take control of your health and well-being. Nutrition. A study found that eating unhealthy foods you crave releases dopamine into your brain, which is a neurotransmitter that controls your brain's pleasure system. This explains why we reach for that tub of ice cream whenever we've had a bad day. The problem is that the release of dopamine is a short-term fix. Have you ever overindulged in junk food because it felt good at the time, only to feel guilty about it later? The long-term effects of eating junk food include Lack of concentration Headaches Irritability Memory loss Fatigue depression. You can easily see how unhealthy foods could contribute to negative thinking. Now, that doesn't mean to cut out all treats. Life is for living, and the occasional indulgence will not ruin your life. However, when it comes to manifestation you're going to find it a lot easier to have a positive mindset when you're nourishing your body with feel-good food. As the saying goes, good food, good mood. Here are a few food choices that are scientifically proven to help boost your mood. Bananas, nature's antidepressants. Bananas help the body to generate serotonin. Dark chocolate, small amounts of dark chocolate help to release stress in the body. Salmon, salmon contains high levels of omega-3 which has been proven to lower stress and anxiety levels. Green tea, full of amino acids, this wellness all-rounder is amazing for physical, mental and emotional health. Blueberries, considered a superfood, blueberries are rich in antioxidants activating higher brain function. Exercise. Incorporating 30 minutes of movement a day into your life is a great way to release endorphins. Find an exercise routine that suits you, whether it's lifting weights in the gym, dance, gentle yoga or even a daily walk around the block. If you can include some sunshine and fresh air you will also get an added dose of vitamin D. Making some time to get active will allow you to clear your mind and improve your well-being as a whole. Reaching fitness goals can be really rewarding for the mindset and will allow you to step into the best version of yourself. Four. 
comparing yourself to others. With today's technology, it's become easier than ever to take a glimpse into the lives of others. Comparing lives with famous celebrities, models and sports stars is a popular pastime for ordinary folk all over the world. Social media and TV have created a complete culture of inadequacy. Mindless scrolling of your news feed has been proven to lower mood and increase stress and anxiety. The worst thing is when you compare yourself to others, you lose what makes you special. That magic that's uniquely yours becomes shadowed by depression and envy. If you find yourself making harmful comparisons between yourself and others try to remember the following. When it comes to social media, people only show what they want you to see. The success of others should be celebrated, not envied in accordance with the law of attraction. Nothing is going to change by sitting around watching others. Take charge of your own life. Let those who inspire you, charge your excitement for the future. There is nobody in the world quite like you. 5. Quit with the labels. Have you ever had an embarrassing moment that felt like it would scar you for life? Something so terrible that it shaped your entire perception of who you think you are. Letting go of past trauma can be really hard. But it's important to recognize that these falsehoods are doing nothing but covering your life with a blanket of negativity. Disrupt the doubt by taking back control over the labels you place on yourself. Release yourself from past limiting beliefs. Instead, adopt new labels as if you already embody the highest version of you. 6. Use positive affirmations. Becoming more positive is all about retraining your subconscious mind, and there is no better way to do that than to use positive affirmations. The subconscious mind stops developing at 7 years old. What this means is that when you train it as if it were a 7-year-old child, so how do you do this? Through repetition. Affirmations can either be recited, written or listened to through an audio track. Subliminal affirmations can be particularly helpful in reprogramming the subconscious toward more abundance, fast. In time, your subconscious mind learns to be more positive without prompting and positive affirmations will begin to come naturally. In tricky situations, your subconscious mind will be more confident with saying, I can, rather than, I can't. If you do not already have a positive affirmation routine, start today. It takes no extra time and often you can incorporate your affirmations into daily tasks such as waiting in queues, driving to work or even taking a shower. Here are a few examples of positive affirmations to eliminate self-doubt. I conquer every obstacle to create the life I want. I transcend from negative self-doubt to an abundance of positivity. No longer do I fear the dark for I am light. I create and welcome only positive feelings in my life. Today is a new day, what happened in the past will not dictate my future. Everything is going to plan, I align my frequencies with the universe. I am the creator of my best reality. If you're feeling doubt or can't stop negative thinking, these steps will help. Make sure to take action and live your life how it's supposed to be. Remember you are a wonderful creator. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Modern Day Manifestations.